let's talk about the books that i am currently reading because this is the only outlet that i have to talk about books and i really 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 need to talk about books that i'm currently reading in the past 2 to 3 months i have only finished reading the hunger games trilogy that is catching fire and mocking jay and just kids by patty smith which i have been reading for i guess 3 to 4 months now i have had this book for a really long time i have been reading this book for a really long time and i finally finished it last week i'm really happy i'm not complaining because i had a really 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 good time with just kids but i want to be reading more books new books so to make up for my lack of reading i decided to read 5 to 6 books at the same time one chapter each book you know at one time so that i can add at least 3 to 4 books on the books that i've read in 2024 so yeah let's talk about the books i'm reading currently the first book is everything i know about love by dolly alderton i just finished just kids as i said and i absolutely loved it even though it is a memoir it still felt fictional to me because i couldn't relate to it at all so i decided to read everything i know about love because i have heard people raving about this book i don't think i really don't think i have actually seen a single negative review about this book not even like a four stars or three stars review I'm curious to know what this book is about and especially after I fell in love with Just Kids by Patty Smith I really want to you know explore this whole memoir genre and just find books that I can actually relate to find books of people's journey that I can understand and find inspiration from well not inspiration but just hopeful vibes I've actually finished like 50 pages in one day this is surprisingly really easy to read i don't exactly have a lot of hopes for this because a lot of people are just saying that this book celebrates um girlhood girl friendships and all i don't know why but to me it feels like this is like a romanticized version of the book it originally was meant to be yeah there are a lot of pages remaining so fingers crossed okay another book that i'm reading is the dalard gert dream department store this is such a unique book like it has such a unique and fun concept it is basically like this alternate world and when we human beings on planet earth fall asleep we go to this alternate reality to buy dreams we go to the store which sells dreams which are like these movies this whole world just feels like a huge cotton candy to me <laughs> i don't know why maybe it's because of the cover it's like this whole you know pinkish cover so the only thing that i really feel about this alternate reality is that it is a rainbow it is a cotton candy everything is like filled with just pastels and candies it gives me a really beautiful feeling to know that when i fall asleep i'm not just dreaming but i'm going to this alternate reality where i am able to choose between what i want to dream tonight and that just seems so much fun to me how a normal cozy literature goes like you know before the coffee gets cold or welcome to the venom dog bookshop days at the morisaki bookshop it's like those books but a really rainbow version of it and so far i like it i'm 50% through with this i might be able to finish this book tonight so i'll talk about my thoughts of this book in the next video maybe another book i just started because it is finally autumn the aesthetic autumn that is happening in united states and united kingdoms and wherever autumn is happening right now so i thought that this is the perfect time to finally finally read this book and that is jonathan strange and mr norell i bought this book because i read on tumblr that this is basically like an adult harry potter and also i read this post on reddit which said that the night circus erin morgenstern was kind of inspired from uh Jonathan Strange and Mr Norell so that piqued my interest i was really intrigued and i bought it but it is like a 800 to 1000 pages book and that really intimidates me but i do have it on my kindle because when you're reading on a kindle you kind of you know get lost in the book itself and you don't realize when you finish reading 200 to 300 pages Jonathan Strange and Mr Norell i have read the first um five chapters and it is actually really really good i am getting a lot of beautiful magical vibes it also 
this book doesn't follow the whole stereotypical magic situation magical system that we see in most of the books it is basically a book in which magic is studied like any other subject like medicine or law or any professional course to become a magician is also like a profession which is really interesting because you get to study about magic the whole day you get to read the history and everything to become a proper magician and then you also get to practice it this is like the first i think second or third chapter where because there are not a lot of people practicing mag magic a magician uh, norel is asked to perform magic and he makes this really really beautiful scene in the book where he gets the statues in a cathedral to talk to share their experiences and it just reads like such a beautiful magical experience because imagine the most historical statues just speaking about their journey speaking about their experiences in front of you and you're like amazed you're like in awe at seeing statues speak so yeah i like this book so far i really think that this would end up becoming a five star book for me but it also intimidates me so much because it's like 800 to 900 pages and yeah again fingers crossed that i end up finishing this book first then end up loving it as well then because it's finally october and halloween and i also got this book for a really 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 cheap price after a year of keeping it in my tbr list i am reading women eating this book is my year of rest and relaxation but made the unnamed character a vampire at least that is what i read on tumblr i have read the first chapter and it actually reads like that as well i did not exactly love uh, my year of rest and relaxation i loved the concept of the book because who wouldn't love to you know sleep for a whole year but i also don't think that i could understand the book i think i need to be a little bit older to truly get the emotions that the book is trying to get me to feel it is not exactly the stereotypical vampire book because you know normally when you hear the word vampire automatically a lot of action sequences a lot of horror just comes to your mind and this book is about a depressed vampire who is moving to this new city and living a new life knowing no one getting to know people new people and overcoming her depression so yeah I kind of understand when I hear a lot of people say that they did not enjoy this book but it is sounding really interesting to me. This is my Halloween read for 2024. Then I'm also finally starting Romantic Outlaws. I have had this book for a year and I am not reading it because look at how thick it is. But this year I finally realized that you know what I need to start reading this book because I have read the introduction the first two chapters and i actually really 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 like it just the sheer size of it makes me really scared but now that i have finished just kids and absolutely adored it i really think that i can you know finally give this a try just kids kind of motivated me to start reading more non fiction books although this is maybe not the perfect selection it is on my tbr right now and i really want to just you know discover new beautiful quotes i'm finally starting this book this year pray for me that i finish this book actually because two there are like two three four books maybe that are more than 600 pages i normally don't have the patience to read more than 400 pages and these are like non fiction books that kind of makes it like more scary for me next book is the meek one by fyodor dostoevsky I have not read any other book of Fyodor Dostoevsky than White Knights and I absolutely loved it. It is very interesting for me to see how just like you know a few pages can make you feel so many emotions and White Knights did that for me. It is such a short book but it is like packed with feelings you know melancholy and sadness and just beautiful writing. I have Crime and Punishment on my TBR as well but why would i read that i when i can read a short book instead to feel motivated to read crime and punishment i would first read the short stories of the dostoevsky and the meek one is the next on my radar next book is heaven i have been waiting for a perfect time to read this book because it is a really dark and depressing book it is a book about bullying and how bullying affects 
to people's minds and lives it's a really depressing book and i haven't really found a perfect time to read it because even starting it kind of really drains my energy so i think i might read this in winter like you know november december maybe late december because it's only like a 200 pages book the last book that i am going to start soon is starling house i have read 10000 doses of january by alexi harrow and i fell in love with that book if you don't like the starless sea because it does not have a plot it does not have depth i think you should read the 10000 doses of january because it has all the magical components of the starless sea the night circus but at the same time it also has depth and plot to it so i loved it and i'm really excited to read starling house because it is by the same author i don't know anything about this book but i'm really 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 excited to read this these were the books that i want to finish reading this year i really do not want to take these books to next year because i feel like if i don't finish them now i might never ever ever touch them again yeah i really hope that these books get added to my 2024 reading wrap up this was my autumn october november december january february tbr and i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching bye